Hey everybody, this is Bacter again, and here we are. Um, just gonna show off all of the the relics and the weapons. So first, let's start with the sword, spear, light foot combo. There are those who speak of the planet indeed, and we are among them, and on we go. Okay, light foot, just a regular sword. Normally you swing it, and it does a little damage, and it doesn't take much stamina. When you activate it, it becomes a spear, and you do that huge charge effect. And you gotta close it back up, but let's, uh, let's charge with that. There we go. And uh, most most weapons, when you awaken them, take more stamina to swing, but have a longer range and do a little bit more damage, just like that. So that was that. Now, as for the relic, uh, let me drain my stamina here. That didn't quite work. Let me drain my stamina, and oh, I dodged too soon. If you dodge through an attack, there we go. You dodge through an attack with light foot. And uh, as long as the attack would have hit you if you hadn't dodged, but you were able to dodge through it, you get all of your stamina back, which is obviously very useful mid-fight. Um, it, uh, you know, just like uh, the opening the Assault Blade, it gives you a full stamina recharge, which is great. So the Light Foot and uh, Sword Spear combo is very mobile. Uh, it's, it's not as tanky as some of the other builds. That's that one. Let's now see part two, which is the Assault Blade Iron Spine. I'm just going to show these off in, uh, in Paris. You already saw the Assault Blade, but in general, again, it's a big old cutlass-looking thing, and its deal is when you activate it, you get a free stamina recharge, which is super nice. Now, Iron Spine. First off, it gives you a little damage reduction, which is always nice. Second, if you time your blocks right, you heard that, uh, let me just block normal. You hear that little ting. If you time it right, you get that big tong there. And the nice thing about that is the block actually uses no stamina if you do that correctly. Which is, you know, puts you at a huge advantage because normally uh, you lose a little stamina after that first blow. And so timing this correctly lets them exhaust all of their swipes and you still have most of your stamina left. And uh, also I think it uses a little bit more of their stamina if you block perfectly like that. So that's Iron Spine, as well as being just a general damage reduction, which is, of course, super welcome. Finally, we have the Shield Axe Bloodshot Eyes. Now, you've already seen the Bloodshot Eyes again. Uh, that was my That's my relic of choice. It's a Bloodborne kind of weapon where it lets you vampire back your um, your health after it's down a little bit. Here is the, uh, the spear. Obviously, it's very good at defense uh, in its shield, or its shield axe, rather. It's a, in its shield form, it's very good at defense. Uh, awakening it turns it into an axe. You do a big swipe like that, and uh, then you just go to town. Look at that. Oh, that's so damaging. That's a lot of fun. And you there, pal. You can see that normally just swiping people with the shield doesn't actually do a lot, so with the shield axe, you'll be switching between the two of them quite a bit. It's a... Uh, I, I don't have any problem with any of the loadouts. You know, they're, they're all good in their own way. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to let you, the thread, uh, or, or you, the uh, comment section, decide. Let me know what you choose, and that's the character we'll go with for the rest of the game. Thanks very much, and uh, catch you guys then. Boop.